Previously on The Potentialists. Every audience is different. Every crowd is different. Yes, or no? yes. Fireworks and they had other things blowing up. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. We were going to the VA sponsored event uh, to the Miami Seaquarium for combat veterans. Wayne is my brother who was in the military for eight years and went on four tours. Miami Seaquarium is animals or marine life that you would find in or around the peninsula of Florida. I was at the Miami Seaquarium once very long time ago. Apparently I'm gonna be swimming with a bunch of underwater animals. And are you scared? I'm not too fond of them, especially when they're bigger than me. So you're scared. <laughs> I didn't say I was scared. I just said I wasn't fond of them. <laughs> Wayne is a kind of person that does not like to go to the beach. Anything beach or, or water related, he hates it. Yes, I have a big fear of deep water, specifically animals bigger than me. I am okay in the water as long as I can see what's around me and then sometimes when I see what's around me it scares me. We had to put on these wetsuits just to kind of like keep us insulated from the water. It's summertime so it wasn't really that cold. However, they needed to keep the water temperature cold for the animals. There was this one particular animal that we actually got to see as we went underneath the aquarium. A moray eel and a barracuda. I know barracudas are territorial. <laughs> Big fish teeth and bulging eyes and this, you know, kind of like attitude, you know, like, you stay on your turf, I'll stay on mine. And these veterans, you know, were all pretty big and muscular and tough looking and, you know, they're all ex-military. And when it came to jumping into the water at that precise moment, they were all scared. One of the things that they teach you in basic training is, you know, dive right in and face your fears. And I just didn't think it was going to be so literal. <laughs> oh, how many of you are scared to go in there? And every single hand went up. It was hilarious. Uh, look. Is that a shark? The helmet was uh, just an underwater rig so that we could breathe normally without having to put on, you know, underwater goggles with a snorkel. You know, as soon as we reach the bottom, like the animals just come all over you because I guess since so many people go down there, and feed them, they just automatically assume, oh look, you know, more people means more food. And you get attacked by like millions of fish. Like rub up against you, around your legs, arms everywhere, and you're like, ugh, ugh. It's like diving into a pool of jello. kind of cool to see Wayne how he was reluctant to go in and in the end and you could see him actually start to enjoy himself and everybody was having a good time and it made us have a good time watching him have a good time. Next thing I know this lady's carrying like this freaking 50 pound moray eel. I have a tendency that when I get scared, I just freeze. No sudden, you know, threatening gestures. I just freeze. It's looking right at you. And it's, good, you know, doing that mouth thing where it isn't. As soon as I saw the head pass this way, I was like, all right, now, nah, you know, I'll try touching a little. But it was just as slimy as the stingrays. And it was like, ugh. One touch is enough. That's it. Go away.
when I was in the window looking at all that sea life just like swim around them and gather around them and they were feeding them I thought oh wow this is cool I don't know how I would feel if I was actually in there because I'm kind of scared of those things and fish are slimy and ugh, so I don't know Yeah, after it was all said and done, it was it was actually kind of a cool experience. It's something maybe worth repeating, but you know, let the shock and awe wear off first before I think of going back down there again. No. Everyone has a fear. Like for example, for me, my fear is fear of heights. I don't want to climb a ladder. And once I climb the ladder, I really don't want to come back down. <laughs> However, what's your fear? Whatever fear is, is something that you really fabricate in your mind. Fear, when you break up the word, is false expectations appearing real. A lot of times we create this big massive thing and once you actually do it, you realize that it wasn't so bad after all. What you're seeing in this video is someone that was afraid of doing something and at the end of the day, after the person did it, once Wayne took action, he had a great time. So what's holding you back from having a good time in your life? Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?